trust me. I'm your friend. Rock like your lives! Finger five on it. Get ready, Bragg. Only about 15 minutes to San Francisco. Yeah, and a 10 million, thanks to that little black market baby. <laughs> Still can't believe we found a collector willing to pay that much for a stinking ape. Come on, Wheeler. We might have bagged the last wild ape on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how the heck did he get out? Who cares? Just get him back in the cage. Stand still, you miserable little... Gotcha! Get off me, Bragg, or we'll crash! Hold on! Don't move, Wheeler. Don't even breathe. Oh no! We gotta get out of here! Yeah, this our 10 mil is getting away! No way we're letting all that money escape! Dad, did you hear that crash? Must have been the chopper that just flew over. I just spoke to 911. They're dispatching rescue workers, but it will take time to get up here. We need to try and locate that crash and see if there are any survivors. I'm sure the sound came from this direction. You know these woods better than anyone, so lead the way, Lucas. <laughs> Missed! I'll nail the little. That sounded like a gunshot. I bet the pilot fired a rescue flare. Or maybe poachers are hunting the redwoods again. Either way, let's keep a sharp eye and stick close. Don't worry, Dad. I know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, gross! I just stepped in deer tongue! Oh, this is great! Thanks a lot, Lucas. No, I meant I haven't seen any for so long. I was afraid there might not be any deer left. Between habitat destruction and poachers, in another 10 or so years, I fear there won't be any wild animals left. <laughs> Too bad bugs aren't extinct. I hate them so much, I'm going to invent a gigantic bionic insect eating spider. Hello, spiders already eat insects, Richard. Nature takes care of itself. We don't need Richard's useless bionics. I can't believe you just dissed our dad. I didn't. Yeah, he did. Dad's the most important bionic scientist in the whole world. You know I didn't mean it like that. I understand how you feel, Lucas. I love nature too. That's why I got into bionics, to help people and injured animals. <laughs> Lucas! He got him now. No way out. A lot of trike dots. Psst. Come with me. Hurry, this way. I want to help you. Trust me. I'm your friend. Hey, what the? Where that rotten ape go now? Come on. There. <laughs> Go! 
cops! We gotta get out of here! Okay, but I swear one day I'll find that filthy brat that just cost us ten million dollars! Your brother was right. The police said the helicopter they found was definitely used by poachers. You think they got Lucas? Maybe they'll hold him for a... He's fine. Lucas sent a holotech saying he has a surprise for us. I just had to wait for the police to leave. Why? What are you hiding? Shh, be quiet. You'll scare the baby. Baby? baby? Ah. <laughs> the poachers were shooting at him, so I had to help. This is my dad, Dr. Leo Remy, and my brother, Richard. It's okay. I swear, I'm never gonna let anyone hurt you again. Lucas, you shouldn't lie, even to a dumb monkey. Not a monkey, Richard. I'm certain that this is a baby gorilla, which were believed to be extinct in the wild. Okay, fine, a dumb ape, but Lucas still lied. You can't protect it. We have to turn it over to the police or a zoo or someplace. No, Dad, we have to keep him. If we don't, he could end up spending his entire life locked in a cage or worse, in some lab. Now, I appreciate what you're saying, son, but while he's cute and little now, once he becomes a full-grown gorilla. Apes in the wild could grow up to 5 feet 11 and weigh over 500 pounds? <laughs> Forget that. Anyway, if Mom were here, she'd never let you keep it. Yeah, well, Mom moved back east with her new husband, so why don't you just... Now, that's not the point. Right. Dad, you've always told us that it's every human's responsibility to do everything they can to protect wildlife. So, this is our chance to do the right thing. Please, Dad? Uh, very well. We can see how he does back home in the city, but... It's just a test, no promises. And you boys will be responsible for taking care of your, your pet. Nuh-uh, not me. I didn't ask to live with a smelly ape. I'll do it. I'll take care of everything he needs. I swear, Dad. All right, we'll give it a try. Now let's start packing up. <laughs> hey, hey, you need a name. <laughs> Kong! 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's it then, you are Kong. Hey, Dad, are you going to the lab today? I want to show Kong your island. Now, let's just see how Baby Kong adapts first. Oh, <laughs> he'll be great. No prop. Oh, come on, fit right in. Until Anita sees his ugly face and freaks out. You are late, Dr. Remy. But I made your favorite cookies anyway. <laughs> favorite cookies? Thank you, Anita, but I need to warn you that we have a little surprise. Let's get him, Kong! <laughs> it's all right, Anita. It's not a monster. It's uh, just a baby gorilla. Oh, yeah. Anita's gonna quit for sure if the ape is in history. Wow, Anita. Baby Kong totally loves your cookies. Oh, well, at least that pequeño has good taste. Oh, what a good niño. You can have the last cookie. Ah, no fair! Ah, no fair! Oh, man! I can't believe this. Well, I'm very happy to see Chatter's new bionic wing is working so well. First bionic bird! Ah, first bionic bird! Ah. Ay, que hablador. I am very glad you were able to save his life, but did you have to save his voice as well, Dr. Remy? He's such an annoying chatterbox. One hurdle down. Kong seems to have won Anita over. Now let's see how the little fella does inside our houseboat. Hey, Kong, want to come toss the ball with us? Do you know how to throw a ball? Like this. Throw it back. No, that's my ball. Throw it, don't eat it. <laughs> like this. Like this. Whoa, that's some arm. I'm happy you're on my team. <laughs> Catch 
me if you can! <laughs> hey! I'm trying to study here! <laughs> Come on, Kong! Over here! <laughs> already as large and heavy as any gorilla in recorded history, and he's still technically just a baby. And way stronger, too. Dad, you should see his fastball. Kong could pitch the World Series. Check out what he did to my mitt. Everyone, outside, now! We need to get onto the dock. Is it an earthquake? No, it's your overgrown ape. Rock, I for your life! What is that thing? I can't believe Kong wrecked our house. He grew right through it. Everything's gone. <sighs> I'm just grateful no one was hurt. Don't worry, everything will be okay. Wanna bet? Uh oh, big ape! Big trouble! Don't shoot! I'm Dr. Leo Remy. I assure you this animal is harmless. Hold your fire, but keep your weapons trained on that giant gorilla. <laughs> Kong really blew it this time. The police are gonna put him away, or maybe even destroy him for this. Nobody's gonna hurt my bro. Kong! Kong, listen to me! Hold your fire! It's okay, Kong. You know you can trust me. Whoa! <laughs> nice move, Kong. You see, Captain, he's completely tame and quite gentle. Ma ma K Kong really is a good boy. Well, maybe, but I still can't let this giant home wrecker run around free. He must be contained and controlled until the judge can decide what should be done with him. Done with him? We gotta get out of here. I'm telling Dad, I'm taking you home. Get ready, Kong. Now go! <laughs> Start shooting! They can't risk hitting your brother. Dr. Remy, you are Dr. Leo Remy, the famous scientist? Uh, he's my dad. Tell me, Doctor, is that creature some supersized bionic experiment of yours? I can assure you that Kong is flesh and blood and poses no threat to anyone. I will stake my reputation on it, and I take full responsibility for him. And where are the boy and the monster ape going? Somewhere that Kong will be no danger to society. Or it to him. Dr. Remy, what will we do now? Where will we all live? Yeah, now that Kong totally trashed our houseboat. We're sunk! Before this happened, I'd already been thinking about how we'd be able to keep Kong. So I bought a place for us in the Redwoods. What? But that's not fair! I don't want to leave the city! I hate the forest! And what about school? Uh, you're homeschooled, Richard. Nothing changes there. Look, son, I'm sure you'll feel differently when you see it. <laughs> Watch oh, it! Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the paint's supposed to go on the house, not on us! I made lemonade for my hard-working muchachos. For you too, Kong. <laughs> Excuse you. Well, 
At least now we don't have to worry about his belch in waking the neighbors anymore. I still don't think it's fair that Kong destroys our home, I lose all my stuff, and you move me to this bug-filled forest just so we can keep him. Richard, it wasn't just for Kong. I've always wanted room for a state-of-the-art lab at home where you will be able to begin that robotic dinosaur you've always dreamed of? Seriously? Let's check it out! It's amazing! I can't wait to see your first oh. robotic dinosaur. Oh. But Richard, you can only work on your project when I am present. And even then, you must never touch any of the lasers. I need your word of honor that you will never go into the lab alone. I swear! <laughs> no, Kong! You are not allowed in here! There's just too many delicate instruments and extremely dangerous lasers. Now, Lucas, I want your word, too, that you will make certain Kong never goes into the lab, no matter what. You don't have to worry, Dad. The last thing Kong and I want is to be indoors when there's so much exploring to do outside. <laughs> we'll see you later. Come on, bro. Time to start building our top secret fort. No one, not even Dad, can know about it. It's going to be our own special hideout. Finger five on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kong, the California redwoods are the tallest trees on Earth. <laughs> Luckily, they're even taller than you. what I call a real king-size bed. <laughs> and now I don't need to always take the Kong Vader to get up here. <sighs> wow, it's so cool being up so high. <laughs> Whoa. What a view. Our secret hideout is awesome, but I promise, one day, when I'm old enough to afford it, we are gonna turn this place into a real fortress with high-tech camouflage, and I'll lay in enough banana chips and other survival food to last a lifetime. So no matter what happens, no one from down there or anywhere will ever be able to hurt you. Check it out, Dad. I made it so it can crush anything that gets in our way. Very impressive. Well, I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad, but it's still not right. If I could just use your laser, I know I could get it as smooth and shiny as my design. Out of the question, Richard. You know my lasers are off limits. Well, I don't see what's the big deal. I've watched you use them. No, they're too dangerous. But maybe when I have time, I can do it for you. No! This is my invention. I have to do it all myself. Well, I think it looks amazing. And you did a great job. <laughs> See you after work. Uh, Dad, I can't find my computer tablet with my school assignments. I'm sure I left it on my desk, but it's not there anymore. I've looked everywhere for it. We've been searching, too. Back! No luck! I thought I saw Lucas take it outside yesterday when he went to play with Kong after class. No, I'm sure I didn't. <laughs> but now I can't do my classes online, and I have a big exam tomorrow. It's not like you to lose something so important. Well, you'll have to fly into the city with me today and buy a new tablet. I'm really sorry, Dad. I swear I don't understand how it happened. Richard, would you like to come with us? Thanks, Dad, but I really shouldn't skip class today. Not with the big exam coming up. Perfect. 
Anita will never hear a thing. Mind your own business, banana breath. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're not even as smart as a three-year-old. <laughs> oh, look, there's Lucas. <laughs> so long, chump. <laughs> When this is done, Dad's gonna see how right I was. Then he'll really be proud of me. <laughs> Stop bothering me, or when I'm done, I'll sick T-Rex on you. Ugh!